Here with Coach Radke after uh, another win that keeps St. James undefeated. Um, talk about your kids' resilience there. Blue Valley stage to come back, but your guys hang on there at the end. Yeah, we just talked about making plays uh, tonight. And, you know, we, the last couple weeks haven't made the big-time plays. And uh, <laughs> we had a really great football team right there with a great tradition. Um, we won the, uh, a game to set the tone for our program, and, uh, you know, maybe this is it. How special of a player is Jack Petz, especially tonight? Well, you saw how great he is. He blocked for us. Uh, he ran over people. He ran by people. Uh, made big-time cuts. Uh, he, he's a great human being. Also, he's a leader. Um, he's the guy who motivates uh, the whole team. Um, he's a special kid. Uh, probably the strongest performance I've ever had. I'm just out here trying to help the team get a win. So that's all you can really do. What, what was the offense doing tonight that seemed to be clicking so well, especially on the ground game? Uh, running to the left side of the ball. We had uh, Parker and Josh Geither in there, and they were just pushing really hard. And we could also switch it up to the right side, and you have those guys over there that were doing a really good job. So, Was there ever a, a sense of, of urgency from your sideline? It seemed like you guys were pretty calm, even when Blue Valley was staging the comeback. It seemed like there was some quiet confidence on your sideline. Yeah, well, you know, uh, give it to Blue Valley. They, they have a really good offense, really good. They're clicking a lot, but uh, we knew what we had, and we were confident uh, with the offense. Well, they're they're <laughs> very good at what they do. We, we knew they were going to be a physical group. We've seen it on film. Um, you know, we, we talked about, I mean, they came to our lineman challenge this summer and won it going away with their big boys, and um, we knew it was going to be a big challenge, and Man, that back is a stud. Uh, 34 is a, is, a, is a good player, and uh, quarterback's a good player. And, and I think our kids, um, I don't know if they underestimated them, but it's hard to simulate that in practice. And, you know, you get out here on a live field, and, boy, it's hard to tackle it, and they showed it. Defensively, how did you guys slow down Blue Valley's offense? We mixed up some coverages. Uh, you know, we stayed in our three front for the most part, but, uh, you know, mixed up coverages. And our guys made some plays. Our linebackers did a really nice job of uh, disrupting things also in the passing game. So. Um, yeah, the guys just making plays back there. Last one from me. Uh, how how much did the miscues sting tonight? Especially maybe a couple of the third down conversions that they had, and, and maybe a couple of drop passes that you guys. Oh, had. there was miscues all over the place, and and you know that's in a game like this when you're when you're two evenly matched teams, the team that makes the most mistakes is is usually going to come out on the short end, and that was definitely true tonight. Again, this is you know we beat Mill Valley start the year, we beat Blue Valley. Um, those are program wins. You know we're still kind of a young community still. Um, you know, we're, we're establishing ourselves as an, as an EKL, um, a player in the game, in the race, and uh, that's just fun. It's fun for the community.